So I'll just switch the computer on now for the first time. So I'm just going to press delete now to get into the BIOS. And then when you get into the BIOS, if you scroll down to integrated peripherals and press enter, if you scroll down to onboard SATA stroke IDE device, that needs to be enabled so that we can configure the uh, RAID configuration. And then just below that, you can see there that RAID is selected for the onboard SATA. So we'll just save that now by pressing F10 and it'll ask us if we want to save it, which we do. So we just press return and it's saved that setting for us. And then when that screen comes up, if you press Ctrl and G, you get into the uh, RAID configuration screen. We'll make a few changes in here and then we'll have uh, the RAID 0 configuration set up correctly. So we're just going to choose create RAID disk drive and we want uh, RAID 0 stripe which is correct. Just call it GRAID1. And then we'll just enter that and we want a, a RAID 0 which is correct and then it's selected both disks And as you go through to each one of the options, it tells you in the out panel there what exactly it is. And we're just going to confirm the creation. So now it'll use both hard drives at once. If you select a RAID 1 configuration, it backs up everything from one hard drive to the other. So if you had two 1 gig hard drives and you used RAID 1, you'd still have a, a 1 gig hard drive. But if you use a, a RAID 0 configuration or a Stripe configuration, it actually uses both drives together, so if you had two 1 gig hard drives, it would show up as being a 2 gig hard drive. So we're just going to confirm that now that we want to create RAID on the selected hard disk drives. So now what else we need to do is curse it down to the save and exit setup. And then when it says, do you want to save it to disk, just click on yes. So now we've got the uh, RAID 0 configuration working. So now we can start to install Windows. So when the screen comes up all you need to do is accept the terms of the license and then click on next and then we're going to click on custom for advanced and then drive options. So now we're just going to click on load driver and then browse 
and then on my USB pen we should find the driver. And then if we just click next it should install that for us. And as you can see now, we've got a, a RAID 0 configuration there because it's combined both of the one terabyte hard drives. And it, it just looks like there's one large drive now. So I'll just click next and now it's installing Windows. So now we have to choose a username for some reason, so I'm just going to choose i7. And then click on next. And then we have to choose a, a password. Now we have to enter the product key. So then you just need to choose your time zone, the date and then the time. And now that Windows has finished installing, we can now install the uh, motherboard drivers and the graphics card drivers. And then that's it, then that's the job completed.